Hey guys, it's Antis, and I guess it's my turn to talk about COPA, or at least how it's going to be affecting my channel and my opinions on it. Um, if you read the title of the video, that's right. If everything goes the way it sounds like it's going, and everything kind of goes the way YouTube has betrayed the creators and forced us to go, I could potentially be looking at getting sued for 8.4 million dollars due to the FTC having the ability to sue individual creators instead of YouTube and suing us for the amount of just over $42,000 per video that they believe is in violation of the COPA Act. Uh, the COPA Act is of course something that I mean I support it. It's helping protect children you know, from targeted ads and getting their their data collected on by these large companies. And I agree that there, that, that should be something that is in effect. Mm -hmm. However, YouTube kind of screwed us all over by forcing us into a situation where we only have two options as creators, and that is to mark our videos as for adults or for children. And those of you who may be looking at this video based off of me posting it on various other sites like my Facebook and on my Twitter instead of just on my YouTube channel, so those of you who might be family and friends who may not know about what's going on, um, it isn't as simple as just going, oh, well then just click your videos for adults. My channel is a gaming channel primarily. I primarily play Minecraft. It is something that I really love and that I really enjoy, and in all honesty, there is no real way around it. Um, those Minecraft videos will have to be marked as children videos because they apply to children. And even the games that I play uh, that are rated mature, like the video, like the, the stock footage that I have in the background right now is some Modern Warfare, that has an ESRB rating of mature, 17 and up. So by all rights, I, as a creator, and I plan to do this on my channel, I, if any game has a rating that is for the age of 13 or up, because that is the COPA, the COPA cutoff is for 13 and under, so if it's rated for above that age, then technically it's for adults. But children can still be interested in it. And all these little extra COPA details, I'm not really going to go into them. There are plenty of other people that have went into them in depth. Um, I may link a few really good videos uh, in the description. <clears throat> but the whole point is, a lot of my videos, you know, are video game related. And video games can, ap can apply to children. So these very, very vague guidelines are really, really screwing us over. And the big problem is YouTube themselves. YouTube has only given us two categories. For adults, for children. If you mark a video as for children, it's basically on private. It will not be searchable. It will not have in screens. You cannot like it or dislike it. You cannot leave comments on it. Essentially, it is just a privatized video that I'm not even sure if you went to my channel specifically, if you would even find the video. It seems like it is legitimately sticking them on private in order to eliminate kids' content from the platform, which honestly harms our children more than it's going to, you know, harm them to collect their data, honestly. Because I would rather my child see a targeted ad for a toy than not see any content at all. My daughter loves listening to Baby Shark. That channel is probably going to get shut down because that is very clearly targeted towards kids. And I can understand, you know, where COPA is coming from, but I still feel like they should force YouTube to have a third option. And that third option should be for general audience. So as you can see here, this is the actual analytics on my channel. Most YouTubers that I've seen who have shown this have only shown their past 28 days. Um, that's not a really good example. I am showing my entire lifetime of my channel from the day my channel was made until literally five minutes ago. And as you can see, I have very, very small amount of people that are even in the 13 to 17 age, age range. Like a ridiculously small amount. A vast, vast superior majority of my people 
that are watching my videos are from 18 to, what, 34? The writing's a little bit small in my editing, so I can't exactly see it perfectly. But that right there shows you that, honestly, my videos that I make, despite them being video game related, despite a lot of them being Minecraft, they're for adults. Adults are the ones watching them. Adults are the ones that are more interested in these complicated builds or these ridiculously huge worlds. You know, kids tend to just want to watch Minecraft videos that are like tours and, and, and smaller things. Not saying that they don't watch these. I'm sure some of them do. And we're all sure that a lot of children lie on their age, but that ultimately shouldn't fall on me because you failed to age correctly on your profile. Um, but like I said, even though my videos would apply to kids because they are video games, my audience is way, way older than 13, clearly, by my analytics. You can see that, that that is a fact, like undisputable, that's a fact. And yet I'm probably going to get sued for over... 8.4 million dollars. Um, <clears throat> I don't even know. To be honest, it's just ridiculous. My strategy moving forward, honestly, is to mark all my videos as adults so I can retain um, ads and everything on them so I can receive your guys' feedbacks because a lot of times when I make videos on Minecraft and all that, I am sharing with you guys the information to join in the world or to hit me up on Xbox Live or whatever, and a lot of people reply back with their gamer tags and stuff like that, and they ask me, hey, hit me up when, when you're available. So all that would be gone. I wouldn't be able to connect with my audience anymore. I wouldn't be able to get opinions on builds, and that is just a horrible thing that is going to massively destroy my channel. Um, I only just started making money on YouTube. I'm only on my fourth month of being paid, and I only average like $30 a month. So, this is just a hobby for me, and yet it has the potential to completely destroy and ruin my life, and probably my family's life, for the amount of money that I am potentially going to be sued. Because I'm not going to change my mind, and I'm not going to change my opinion. I'm just going to see what happens. Um, I am going to link a comment section that goes to the FTC on the COPA, where viewers like you guys can go to the description. You can click that link. It'll bring you to their website, and you can add a comment. Now, personally, as my contribution to YouTube and my fellow creators, I urge everyone to message COPA, uh, the FTC, and tell them that what we would like is for YouTube to be forced to add a third category of general audience, because the FTC themselves had acknowledged that there are mixed audiences for some channels, and that their analytics do support that, and that channels like mine will not be sued will not have our videos marked permanently as children, and will not be stripped of everything that makes this whole video experience even worth anything to me. Um, so I really, really hope that a lot of people find time to go down there and just click it and mark it. Uh, like I said, my my strategy moving forward is to go ahead and just start re-uploading again. I haven't been uploading regularly because I've been kind of afraid of this whole COPA situation, and... I've honestly just didn't really know what to do, so uh, it's kind of stunted me from making videos for over a month now. Well, I don't know what to do. I make videos as a hobby because I enjoy it. I don't care about the money, but what I do care about is losing the ability to comment and talk to you guys and to get your feedback. Those thumbs ups and those thumbs down mean a lot more than you realize, and every one of those comments is amazing for me, and I spend hours and sometimes a full day every once in a while where I literally go to my YouTube studio and I filter through comments that I have not replied to and I literally reply to every single comment on every video no matter how negative or positive it is I give you an honest feedback and I'm never rude about it and that's not something that I want to go away I enjoy my interaction with you guys so please I urge you to go down and tell them my per you know my personal contribution that I would like everyone to do is to tell the FTC that they need to force YouTube to add a third category 
of mixed audience because that will help out so many people.